Hello, happy Vlogmas. We are in your tw we are in month 12 of 2022. Can you guys believe it? We are in Vlogmas. This is December. And I wanted to jump on here and give, I believe it's, I wrote down, I think 10 ideas for uh, 10 Vlogmas ideas, okay? <clears throat> so the first idea for Vlogmas could be a come decorate with me, meaning you can put up your tree, you can put up lights, you can, you know, put up Christmas decorations all throughout your house. You know, however, you know, pick your Christmas music and all that stuff. Did I say, did I say music right? I hope I said music right. I don't know in my ear. I thought I heard something else. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's the sugar. Okay. So, <clears throat> but yeah, we could, you could do a come decorate with me. That will be number one. And again, decorate. Your house, your car, put up lights, put up Christmas decor, whatever you want to do, that could be your ideal, one of your ideas for decorate with me. Number two, I would say come shopping with me. So come shopping with me means we can go to the mall, we can go, um, you know, pick up presents, we can go, okay. So, let's resume. Okay, so my second idea is uh, come shopping with me, right? So, you can go to the mall because, you know, the mall is decorated so beautiful right now. And you can go to the different stores and, you know, you can pick out some items. Like, actually, you might be, you might just window shop, right? You might just go to the mall and be like, okay, this is what I want to get my sister. This is what I want to get my mom. This is what I want to get my man. This is what I want to get my son, my daughter. And, you know, you might just be window shopping to see what you're going to come back and get, right? Great idea. Take us along with you, right? Take us to the mall. This, this is when I say come, meaning you are taking your subscribers, your audience with you to decorate the house, for the, to decorate your apartment, your house for the number one, and to come shopping with me, you're, you're physically taking us to the mall or to the store with you. Because you know we knows it, so we want to see what you see. We want to know what you're buying. You know people want to know what you're spending your money on. Just knows it. And guess what? I am too. But don't tell nobody. That'll be our little secret. Okay, uh, number three. You can bake holiday cookies. Like Christmas-themed cookies. You know, sugar cookies or gingerbread cookies. I mean, you can make so many beautiful cookies. Just, you don't even have to make them from scratch. You can buy the roll, cut them, put them on a uh, cookie sheet, pop them in the oven. Simple. Okay. Uh, number four will be a day in, in my life. So you would take us along with you on your day. However that, whatever that looks like for you, you would just take us right along with you. You would just take all your subscribers along with you. Again, we are nosy. So we want to know. And we will be, we will be along for the ride. Right? Number four. <laughs> Number five, you can have a Christmas Q&A. And not that the questions have to be about Christmas, but you can, you know, just pose a question, hey, like early, like, hey, why don't, you know, I'm going to pick a day to do a Christmas Q&A so you guys leave me some questions, right? I mean, and you decide which questions you want to ask and, you know, people always go too far. So you might want to just pop something out there, you know, a question for them to a answer or uh, ask you or a list of questions. Or you might just say, hey, just don't get too personal or whatever, but I'm going to answer, say, 10 questions while I, you know, for this video. I'm just going to sit and answer questions, right? You, it's up to you how personal you want to get. Hopefully, they'll keep it all fun and light, you know. You know, hopefully. But again, we know. 
Okay, so the next question is uh, wrapping gift gifts with me. So, you know, once you went shopping, right, and bought all this stuff, come on in, sit down, pop up your camera, turn it on, welcome, welcome us into your living room, and start wrapping up your gifts. And you can, you know, if you want to, you can be like, hey, I bought this for my, for my mans. And, you know, I think he's going to love it and blah, blah, blah. You know, you can, get, you can give us a little backstory on why did you decide to buy whatever. You know what I'm saying? All you're doing is welcome, welcome, welcoming us into your space. And we're, we're there for the ride while you wrap gifts. Because, again, we are nosy. And you never know what gifts you buy might inspire somebody else. Like, say, I don't know what to get my sister and my sister and your sister the same age. And you're like, huh, my sister probably would like that. Huh. I never thought about it. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it works out. You know, it's a give and take kind of thing. Um, let's see. I threw this one in, but because I just, you know, I just love hot chocolate. So I was thinking, why don't you make different types of hot chocolate or make hot chocolate, hot chocolate and do like a hot chocolate bar. And that way, like you might make a cup of Hershey's hot chocolate and you might make a cup of with marshmallow and or you may make a cup with chocolate syrup or you know what I'm saying you might make a cup and add some cake to it and whatever to each his own right because I love to dip I I am a dipper I don't know about you guys, but I am a dipper. Like, I would literally give me a cup of coffee and a honey bun or a muffin, and I would dip my honey bun and muffin into my coffee. So I would dip it into my hot chocolate. So if you had some nice chocolate chip cookies or sugar cookies, and you dip it in your hot chocolate, that's, maybe that's just me and my, oh, you know, too much sugar I got going on. But I'm just saying, you know, hey. Um... But who doesn't love hot chocolate? Hot chocolate with whipped cream and more hot and hot syrup on it. What? Hot, hot chocolate syrup. Or caramel syrup drizzled onto the whipped cream. What? I'm just saying. Okay. Um. What was the next one? Stocking stuffer ideas. Do you guys hang up Christmas stockings and then, like, actually put stuff in the stockings? I remember, like, my mom, she used to make Christmas so fun. She, we used to, like, uh, you know, she would always try to look out for the people who really didn't have a lot of money. So she, she would be like, let's just... Uh, exchange stockings right because you can you know you can go to the dollar tree dollar store wherever and get all these little items for a dollar right or and, and you can get some pretty uh, a big size items to fit in there that will help help in filling up the stocking but you can get all these little small trinkets and stuff candy and cookies and whatever and put down in the stocking razors and just whatever it depended on the well in our house it, it depended on who did you have because say you had a man so if you had a man stocking then you know you can go to the dollar tree dollar store wherever family dollar dollar general wherever if you didn't have a lot of money and you could stock up on men items like razors and uh you might get them some sunflower seeds and um you know uh lip chap and I mean there's so many other things you can get for a man you might get a cigarette lighter like a specific kind depending on where you go you know what I'm saying or you might get a nice pair of socks or just depend you know it depends if he was a coffee drinker you might get him some coffee singles or whatever you know what I'm saying or you might get some uh, some coffee singles and a coffee mug and you know I mean you you could do a lot with it. That's what I'm saying. Like, and so we used to exchange stockings. So, stocking stuffing to me is is like that's priority. So like now, like I'm I'm I tend to um stuff a stocking before I even buy a gift. Like, cause in my mind I'm like okay, cause we used to do that.